Number two temple, celestial temple, is Gokura Kuji, with a statue of the Amida, a celestial Buddha depicted in the scriptures of Mahayana Buddhism, whose name translates infinite light. There are two more pilgrims. Jizu is a protector of travelers and children. We have two more pilgrims. I'm all excited. This is a cedar of longevity that was supposedly planted by Kobadashi. Well, he lived uh, 600 and something. It's pretty darn old. And FYI, he is interred in at Mount Koya. If you want to see Mount Koya, look back at our videos. The main part of the temple is way up there. These are the kinds of instructions that Boku Japan gives you, along with maps. And uh, the instructions are like 180 meters past some traditional Japanese houses. Another 100 meters, take the right fork. You have to just keep following along. I know that's a demon, but I'm sorry, I'm not that well versed in Buddhism to give you all the details. It's enough just to look at the beauty of all these very ancient temples. It's a given that we're all going to get templed out. I had to get way back here to take a picture of that cedar tree. Our little pilgrim marker. The gatekeepers. Third temple for the day, last one, except for the one we're staying at overnight, and I'm exhausted. This is Kosenji Golden Fountain Temple, also rebuilt during the Edo period after it was burnt down by a samurai clan in 1582. We're the only two people here.